everyone, today I'm here to do another tag video. I've been getting a lot of requests to do tag lately, so you know, why not do them? Today's tag is going to be the first and last tag. It was created by the amazing Chapter Chicks, and I was tagged recently by Jesse the Reader, so yeah, let's do this. I have not prepared for this at all. Let's hope it goes good. The first question. What was the first video you posted? What was the last video you posted? Before book schools even began, I had a like tiny, 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 tiny beauty channel and it was like made of like two minuscule videos. I think one, my first was like my hair routine or something. So yeah, that was the first video I ever posted. That's all gone. My last video I ever posted, oh crap, when will this be up? It'll probably then be that announcement video, I think. Hopefully. Hopefully that's right. For two, who was the first booktuber you ever watched? Who was the last booktuber you watched? And what was their video? The first booktuber I ever watched, I believe, was I Eat's, Wor I Eat's Words channel. Vera, her name is, if I'm correctly. I, it's, what, it's the first booktubing video I ever found, and I love them. And my last video, I think I watched... What did I watch? I watched a... By the time this is... By the way, I'm filming this probably like super early in advance. I was watching Percy's Percy Project. Got a hard username, girl. Um, her August to be read. So I watched her video. Three, what was the first book you remember buying? What was the last book you bought? The first book I ever remember buying was Friendle by, I don't know, Jerry Spinelli maybe? No, that doesn't sound right. I don't know who wrote it. The last book I ever bought was, the last book I bought randomly was in the After by Demetrio Luneta. Luneta. Can't pronounce words correctly. That's the one I bought. Question number four. What is the first novel you remember reading all by yourself? What was the last novel you read? The first novel I remember reading by myself. I don't know. I have this vivid, vivid memory of Ella Enchanted. It's like one of my all time favorite books, and I just remember reading that. I don't think it was my first one. Maybe Charlotte's Web. Maybe Ralph the Motorcycle? I don't know. I have an awful memory. So one of those, maybe. The last book I finished was The First Husband by Laura Dave. Number five. What was the first dystopian novel you ever read? What was the last dystopian novel you ever read? Ooh, my first dystopian novel, I think it was Divergent? I don't know. Maybe it was The Hunger Games? It was one of those two, I think. I think. I think so. <laughs> Awful memory here. The last dystopian I read. The last dystopian I read. I don't know. Shades of Earth? Is that not sci fi? Crap. The Fifth Wave? Mmm. What else did I read? I should have. I just had a list. Um. One of those, I guess. I don't know. If not, then it's gonna be. Pro I don't know. Mm, awful tag I'm doing. Six. What was the first paranormal romance you ever read? What was the last paranormal romance you ever read? Crap, you're killing me. The last one I ever read was Pivot Point by Cassie West. I know that one. The first one, maybe Paranormalcy by Kirsten White? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe? I really should have studied my good reads. Number seven. What was the first book that made you cry? And what was the last book that made you cry? I'm being 100% honest. I have not cried while reading a book. And I know a lot of people do that. And people probably be like, you're heartless. Let me tell you right now. As a female, as in me, I cry a lot. Like, not a lot, but I, I do my fair share of crying. I've never just cried over a book. Movie, sure. TV show, sure. Commercials, almost. Those puppy ones with Sarah McLaughlin will get you every time. But I've never cried over a book. Sure, I have felt like I might cry, but with me, if it's like sad, 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 like I'll just close it and like process for a minute, and then I'll open it up and like get myself together. But yeah, I've never cried over a book. Crazy, I know. Maybe that'll change one time. What was the first entire series you completed? And what was the last series you completed? I definitely, without hesitation, will say my first series I ever completed was probably Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. And my last series I ever completed was Unearthly by Cynthia Hand and in the same month, the Across the Universe series by Beth Rabbit. So bam complete those series. The trilogies, does that count? Sure. Number nine, what was the first book you couldn't push yourself to finish? What was the, and what was the last book you couldn't push yourself to finish? I could not put, the one I'm thinking of right now was, is definitely An Abundance of Catherine's by John Green. I really tried to read that and I could not. I couldn't push myself to finish it. The last one I think that I really had to push myself to finish it was, Beautiful Creatures by Kenny Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I really had, I really struggled with that one. I would have not finished it if not for the movie, to be 100% honest with you. The last question is, who is the first person you will tag and who is the last person you will tag? The first person I will tag is the person I mentioned in this video. Per, per, project, per, 
project. Last person I tag will be. Let me think about this. X Excess Reader X. I always have a hard time saying. Those are the two people I tagged for this video. Hopefully, this was somewhat okay and not completely bumbly and awkward, and I didn't study for this at all. But you know, sometimes you ace tests, sometimes you fail. What can you do? What can you do for my Fonda bar? I haven't had a Fonda bar in so long. You guys have a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you later. Bye.